Okay, <clears throat> so we're back. The laundry is hung. I got all the laundry to actually fit on my two drying racks, so it was nice to taste some success. And another another difficulty I, I have with these things, um, and this is something along the lines of something I've said already, is that I don't know how to, um, like I don't have a way to keep track of the things I've tried. And so, you know, like maybe I'm gonna spend the next like two minutes trying things that I've already tried before, which is inefficient. Um, and I don't know how to, don't know how to prevent repeating myself in terms of uh, attempts here. <clears throat> Gotta be way too tall, right? Yeah. Gavin won't stand for that. The one thing I just noticed about this is that, um, like the the height, you know, like from here to here isn't quite as big as say from here to here. So like that's the maximum height there. And maybe the fact that that's a little bit like that is a little bit more of a gap than say between like this edge and this top edge. Like maybe I have to take advantage of that and put some tall stuff that'll just barely fit super tall from the absolute, you know, top to the absolute bottom because the, uh, the height of this shape is inconsistent. yourself Gavin you happy with yourself right now <clears throat> because I'm a good guy and you are causing me pain I know I've said this before, I really would like to, to know some of the techniques here so it isn't just, you know, blindly starting from scratch and, and doing things that really have no chance and that you've already discovered they have no chance, but that, that there's no record keeping to know that you've already tried them. Because I just don't have that. All right, so this is interesting. So like this thing, this piece fits like all the way to the top, all the way to the bottom. Now it does give away some stuff, but that's kind of interesting that, that the only way to make this piece fit in this orientation is to shove it right here in this extra wide space. Of course, I could put it horizontally and it has plenty of room. Um, so just how? How are you supposed to keep track of your attempts? What is the method, Kevin?
So this feels like an okay start. Uh, again, it goes all the way top to bottom. Same question mark shape piece that we talked about before. Um, it does cut the white space up into two distinct parts, but maybe you could fit one of them here and two of them there. I don't know. I don't know. I am wondering why I gave Michael my correct address, though. I could have just made something up. So, oh, you sent him, Michael? I'm sorry, I didn't get it. Wow, that's a shame. So like these two pieces fit kind of nicely there, that's cool. Could try like flipping over or flipping on a different axis, this horizontal axis through the middle. I don't know, don't know, don't know. What I do know is that when I, you know, watch that puzzle guy on YouTube, it's like the pieces just barely, like you can barely get them to fit and I guess that's what makes the thing hard, but my goodness, there's just no room for any kind of error. It's exactly one solution, and if you don't find it, you are, as they say in French, lay screwed. So I don't think this is anything. This is just too big, right? Too big to fit. actually does fit but then there's just not not anywhere near enough space for this monstrosity to fit in nothing 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 so i said i didn't have any kind of algorithm so i guess that's not exactly true because i am you know like kind of rotating things in place and that is an algorithm but I, what i don't have is a way to kind of keep track of what I've done already. And so surely I'm repeating things that I've already seen don't work. Yeah, like this, this is not worth pursuing. It's just too much. Look at all this white space that I've given up over here. Might not even be enough area left over here in the big space to accommodate the area of these two, even if I could, you know, kind of melt them down and, and put them all into that available space. So that just feels like it's not worth pursuing. So what did I try before? Was it this way? And it still seems like a lot of white area I've given up over here. down with this for now at least um, I have stuck with this far longer than I, I would have if this weren't a puzzle given to me by my dad's cousin of course after this I think I might ask my dad to disown your side of the family
if we've tried this already. So those three pieces fit together nicely. I've given up this little triangle here and then this big old space over here. And this piece with the triangle sticking out has been my arch nemesis from the moment I opened this puzzle. So I don't have any hope that it will fit last into this space. I feel like I've seen this before too. This looks really familiar and I tried to fit this triangle sticking out into here. And Gavin said, nope, and he slapped me down. Yeah, this is nothing. The funny thing about these puzzles is that like, you know, like once you know how to, like once you know the solution to one particular one, you know, it's like five seconds to do it. So that, I don't know how much like repeat, um, you know, like repeated solved, I don't know how much value there is to like repeatedly solving the same puzzle. Like once you know how to do it and you've got the solution memorized. But what would be valuable for me anyway at this moment is, um, you know, is like having a, an algorithm like I've whinged about many times already. I think the last thing I'll do in this video and then I'll call this done for today is uh, to try this configuration of three on the hard side. I feel like I've done this already. This might be the configuration that I already tried on the hard side. It's pretty neat, uh, like the the concept that you just have these four pieces and then like two different cutouts. Like that's cool, like two puzzles in one. And then uh, obviously like once you get it to fit, that's kind of interesting actually. Like when you close it, it fits in both. No, I don't, I don't think that matters. All right, because the, I was wondering if like maybe it had to fit on both sides at exactly the same time, uh, but the pieces are only the, the height of the gap of this available space. It's also kind of like interesting, like, you know, like does it, does the solution work? Like, is it the same solution on both sides? I guess that would be kind of, it could be kind of neat from a, like a puzzle making perspective. Um, yeah, but I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. This one is just too big. Too big. This looks familiar too, where like the only empty space was that that one small little triangle gap there on the top left wall. Exactly. Yeah, so this is nothing, right? Yeah, so again, I'm just off by this one triangle that sticks up. That's the only piece, that's the only part that doesn't fit. But of course that significantly alters the like top to bottom altitude of this piece and Gavin did that on purpose because he's a jerk.
All right, I think I'm going to call this done for today. Um, if uh, this wasn't given to me, given to me by a relative, I'd have bailed on it a long time ago. But I'm going to stick with it in the interest of uh, family harmony, and I will give this another shot tomorrow.